today's video. I'm so excited to be bringing you all along with me on this adventure. As you can kind of see back behind me, there's a purple nether portal back there. And today we are doing some quite exciting things through that portal. So real quickly, I'm going to let you all in. I have done a huge nether raid. I mean, I've spent quite a lot of time in there tonight. And I have acquired quite a lot of the things. And if you can see right here, and by the title of the video, you may know what we are doing today. But we may end up doing something else with this as well. So um, I'm very excited for today. But this is everything that we got from our nether run tonight. Um, I'm going to go through and show you all some of the progress I've been making in the world all around. We have our dog Billy here. Holding down the fort, making sure no creepers come in here and try and steal my diamonds that I've been mining for. Got a lot of really good loot going on now, so um, yeah, just a little update on my world. You can see some big builds over here, some other new things popping up. Um, we have quite a lot of exciting things going on right now, so uh, this hasn't changed too much. I haven't done anything crazy with my uh, big old wooden chest. We now have bees as well. I went about a thousand blocks that way and found them in an oak or in a uh, like a plains biome, I believe. Um, but yeah, so we have those going right now and breeding those. And we actually have an automatic bee farm now. So it hasn't been running because I've been in the nether, obviously. But I've been checking this fairly often. We also have a door here in the back to um, get inside if we need. So this is all pretty cool stuff. We got some cool oak going on here. Um, here, over here, we've been starting our mansion. And this is going to be our first um, bigger build, I guess you could say, of the world. Um, I, haven't, I haven't really wanted to record it because it's been a lot of like trial and error. And I kind of have a bigger plan for it, as you can maybe see inside. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what this sign says. It says... Do not enter construction site. Work in progress. So we got our caution tape. We're just going to go right through it. So we actually have villagers now. And I'm still learning a lot about villagers. Like I said, I haven't played, or like I've said in past episodes, I haven't played a lot um, in a while. So I'm still learning a lot about these guys and what they do. Um, I've bred up five of them so far. I plan on getting some more so that I can uh, make an iron farm hopefully soon and I will be able to farm up a lot of emeralds. But we have a village about 500 blocks that way, give or take. So this says, wear your hard hat construction site, work in progress. So good thing we have our hard hat on. Uh, we're allowed up here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all some of the plans that I have for up here. Um, I plan on holding a lot of the villagers and like, and I'm still designing this. I don't know if I want to put them like down here in a cell or up here um, to be able to work with. And I actually ran out of glowstone mid build here, so good thing I now have what almost six stacks. Yeah, so that looks good. But um, yeah, overall I'm really happy with the way this has all turned out. Um, we've built like a nice little organic in the hill wheat farm. I plan on running that all the way up the hill and probably a little bit further down here. But we also have our little cow pasture farm over here now. So I was running out of beef a lot and I ended up tearing up my, my original wheat farm I had over there. And I wasn't getting any more wheat so I had to do that. Ooh, that's why you gotta wear the hard hat. It's a danger zone up there. So, um, I've been experimenting with this. We can't have a nice villager holding cell mansion, whatever you want to call it, without a nice basketball court in the back. And I've been, I was messing with this one earlier. Um, I tried like with a repeater and trying to do it. Um, that didn't work. Ooh, first try. There you go. 
Look at that. I've been practicing this actually a lot. I'm not going to lie. But this is a, quite a lot of fun to do. Um, this was just a short little project I did, but it was a ton of fun to do. And it's a ton of fun to mess around with. Um, I actually need to get another andesite block to fill that in. I love the way this andesite block block looks. And, and I'm not too, uh, not too sure how I feel about this diorite yet. But, um, yeah, I, I like the block in certain situations, but overall it's not huge. Obviously the andesite looks really good with stone brick. We have like some nice fine detail in this. Um, we also have some honey blocks and glowstone down there. This is our little wheat farm. Not, not too much been updated with the creeper farm. I still have only two layers on it, but, um, I believe I have around 10 to 15 stacks of gunpowder now. So that works out pretty well. But I've, ooh, look at this. We have a kitty. We have a free kitty, one of the kitties from the uh, villagers there. Ooh, look at that. I still need to fill in some of the potholes in our little island here. Um, I've cleared out a lot of the trees. I plan on clearing out all the trees on this island probably. Um, just to build random projects and stuff. So this is nothing crazy. Just a big big cow farm I plan on um, putting some of our pigs in another farm and probably with that that whole um, area over there I'll probably end up adding a carrot farm as well some uh, cows escaped when they were getting moved and somehow ended up with the pigs so it's not a big deal also real quick I will go ahead and show you all some plans that I have for a future episode probably not gonna work on today um, I was kinda doing some stuff off camera down here in our slime chunk and I have a lot of that situated Ooh, didn't mean to come down here so I've cleared this all the way out to level 40 what are those noises that's kind of freaky but um, up here we have our cave spider spawner which is all lit up I plan on adding a little farm here like a little cave spider farm probably running out this way and then um, have a dual slime cave spider farm. So I don't know if anybody's ever done that. I'm sure somebody has, but it's a pretty, pretty interesting thing. I hope this doesn't mess with the rates of this, which I'm afraid it will, but it's not the end of the world. But overall, I've lit up the majority of the caves around here. There are obviously probably still little pockets that I've missed. Real quickly, is there anything I want to take up there? Um, yeah, I'm actually grab that bread for the villagers. Oh, so this is our basketball, by the way. Good thing I actually checked in here. That is our basketball, apparently. So, um, yeah, I will, uh, be back whenever we are, um, ready for the nether. Alrighty, so we've been working a little bit in the nether, as you can see. I got uh, some goodies here with me. Um, I actually created a portal and at our nether fortress that I have found. And this is actually where it takes us. And um, kind of an interesting portal. There's nothing really good in this chest. I haven't explored this area. I'm not really suited for it right now. So I'll go ahead and take you all through the portal. And uh, I will show you what we've been working on. So this is our fortress, and it's actually great for what I'm wanting to do. Okay. That wore off. So I made a bunch of these fire resistant potions, which are crucial here in the nether. Um, actually, let me turn down the hostile creatures. I turned them down a while ago, like trying to find these slime chunks and stuff. But yeah, these guys don't bother me anymore. Um, it's been pretty chaotic. I've cleared out like all the little edges. I also have this looting two smite four sword, so that's really good for the um, the wither skeletons. Let's try and get some of those heads. But uh, yeah, we honestly we're gonna be using a design made by Tango Tech. Um, it's a pretty simple design. It's pretty manual. Nothing automatic about it. Um, but it's a, it's a good sorting system for Wither Skeleton, and, uh, yeah, it works really well. It's pretty easy to do. I will have to go back to my base. I don't really know. I haven't figured out an effective, uh, transportation way. Over here, we're about 500 blocks that way in the nether. Let's see if we can get one 
while we're recording. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, so we're going to be building out a huge platform. This is actually perfect because this is right over a uh, lava lake, which means we will be getting great spawns here overall. But at the same time, we also have two blaze spawners back to back. So that is quite exciting. Looting sword. Nope. Oh well. Push comes to shove. Be a good coal form. Coal farm. All right. I will be back when uh, we've made a little bit more progress. Alrighty. We are back from the Nether. As you can see, I have acquired some Wither skeleton heads. So now I have three of them, and have some soul sand, and I have some things ready to fight a Wither. I'm pretty excited for this. I have some strength potions. I should probably get some healing potions, honestly. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and do it in this gear. Um, I'm going to be using my Sharpness 4 Sword. I also have a Smite 4 Sword. And I looked it up, and you can honestly use either. Um, this one was really good for killing uh, Wither Skeletons. I feel like I'm going to play it safe. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. But we'll make up our mind. Um, we're actually going to fight the Nether. We're going to kind of cheese it out and fight him down in the mine. So, I kind of already have like a little idea of where I want to do it. I have like a big, long mine over here. And I'll probably just go kind of far in here um, where I know there's not any lava like directly nearby. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully get ourselves a beacon today. I don't know if I have enough um, iron and stuff to do a... Uh, max beacon yet but i will definitely try and get that in between this episode and next episode and be able to get some instant mining going um it's super helpful to do whenever you get it so you know there's a lava pool yeah there's a lava pool right here so i'm gonna go just a little bit further probably do it right around here no i don't want to go too far because that goes into an abandoned mine chest so we're gonna mine out just a little bit of a room here see there you go Almost another iron block to uh, mine it all for us. Be pretty cool if we found some diamonds on here as well while I'm recording. Alrighty, so we're going to mine out a little room here. Kind of nervous. I haven't fought one of these in a very long time, so I don't exactly know how this is going to go, but uh, I guess uh, here goes nothing. Ooh, I should have mined some of this out before. Oh no. Pretty sure I want to use my bow. At least in the beginning. Ooh, real quickly. Yeah, we're just going to turn this down just a little bit. That was really loud. I know once you get to half health, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this is when you guys start using your sword, so... There we go. Now look at that. That was way easier than I thought. Didn't take any damage there, so... Let's see. Oh, look at that. He found us some redstone and some lapis. Thanks, buddy. Alrighty. I will be back whenever uh, we have our beacon set up at the base. And we are back. Look at this bad boy I'm holding. Ooh. This thing's going to do some work for us. So, I'm not sure exactly if I have everything that we need for it yet, but um, let me go check real quick. We also got some like other gold blocks and stuff here, and it's not like I really need gold either, so maybe we'll do it with that. I don't believe I actually have enough for it. I'm going to have to like check all of my chests for gold and iron. I do have a bad tendency to kind of just stick things places where it doesn't belong. Pretty sure everybody does that, so it's not just me. Got some emeralds there. 
but don't really want to use those. I'm working a lot with the villagers right now. Got some gold, some iron. This is where the majority of our stuff should be. Yeah, definitely don't have near enough. Yikes. So I'm definitely going to have to do some more mining. Um, but either way, having this will still be nice. Um, yeah, and I should have some more um, gold blocks over here. Probably get like a tier 2, tier 3 beacon. Um, yeah, so I'll probably set that up. Somewhere, I don't even really know where, honestly. I may set it up in my mine in that little water shaft over there. But yeah, I actually had to take one of these blocks for the, um, for the, to craft the beacon, actually. So, I kind of, I kind of wrote a no little note on here saying this is still a work in progress and, uh, tried making a little caution tape and stuff. But you gotta do too high so baby, baby zombies and, uh, baby villagers cannot get in. But we actually have spawned an iron golem up here. Um, I plan on turning this place into um, my villager holding area. I need to set up like a legitimate breeding system for these guys. Um, I know they're not hard to do. It's just I haven't really gotten around to doing it yet. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely plan on doing that probably by next episode is my guess. Yeah. So probably get a few more blocks. I believe it takes a little bit over two two stacks of a block to um, do it all in. I may be wrong, but I believe that's what it is. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be a little bit short. Alrighty, I will uh, be back whenever I have that all set up. Alrighty, so we actually set up our beacon here. It's only, um, we're missing the very last row of it. So we're on this one. But uh, we currently have speed one on there, which would be nice just for getting around the base and all. Um, yeah, kind of in there in the center. I believe if you put, like, a stained glass in front of it or whatever, it makes it a different color. So, I'm going to actually do that real quick. I have a red stained glass. Also, um, real quickly while I'm over here, I need to get a banner design. And I was wanting to ask you all what you think I should make my banner design. Any colors, um, any designs. Um, yeah, so make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know. Uh, what kind of design you would like me like to see me do? So, yeah, I think that I think that looks pretty cool. I also use some of the red stained glass over there. We have some nether wart over here. I did use the blue stained glass here, but overall it's fine. Um, I'm actually ready to do another enchant, so I'm gonna sleep real quick, and I will do an enchant with you all real quickly. And um, probably gonna call that an episode. Honestly, I've done a lot in between episodes. Um, didn't get recording all of it so yeah that's kind of on me I need to do a better job at recording like whenever I'm doing um, random projects and all but uh, I always just kind of forget to honestly like I'm still kind of new to this that sharp mystery is definitely a no-go so I actually need a new shovel I also need a new axe but I need a new shovel first not a very good shovel but um, we actually have another one in here. I believe that is efficiency four on breaking three that we are probably going to combine with. Yeah, right here. So yeah, I have this fortune three pick here as well. So right now I'm using this um, efficiency four on breaking three. So if I combine these, which one's cheaper? Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm probably just going to use this one until it breaks down a little bit and then I'll combine it with that one. But yeah, we're going to call that an episode. Um, thank you all so much for watching today. I have some really big plans for next episode with this. I'll probably work on the slime farm a little bit and kind of get that done. Hopefully we have enough resources by next episode to fill this all the way up. I'm actually kind of broke now that I used all my iron down there. So I may actually replace some of that iron with these gold blocks. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. And um, yeah, I will see you all next time.